Jim Biz, let's hear the next story. Uh, the next one in line. And work. why haven't I heard the chime? Where's the next executive producer? I, somebody needs to go to twistlist.co, and we need to hear that chime. Go. Uh, Warner Brothers have acquired Flickster. Warner Brothers Home what? Entertainment Group purchased social movie app Flickster for between 60 and $90 million. When did that happen? Uh, happened yesterday, I believe. Yeah. Oh. Flickster has raised $7 million to date. According to the terms of the deal, Flickster will continue to operate independently of the WB, though it will move beyond its core functionality of movie discovery. Uh, making things even more interesting uh, is that Flickster acquired movie review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes from News Corp uh -oh. in 2010. Uh -oh. So Warner's is saying all Flickster properties will remain totally independent. They're going to be, quote, studio agnostic. Mm. So I'm already guessing from your tone, mm. not taking uh, the WWB at their word. Mm. Uh, so what what do you think? What, what's going to happen here? Is this going to be Rotten Tomatoes? Yeah, is now Rob knows more about Warner the big movies? media companies. You work with them. What do you think? Yeah, I'm less concerned about the Rotten Tomatoes. My sense is mm -hmm. they will let it be what it is. They're staying up north, or they're staying here where they live, but they're yeah. not going to be on the lot. Uh, you know, Warner Brothers has been pretty tolerant of, uh, of these online sites. If you think of TMZ, they don't really get in their way. They let them run their site and let them run it as, as they see fit. They can mm -hmm. be as snarky as they wish. That we know of. So uh, I think what's way more interesting about this is the Flickster part. You know, the studios have this big initiative underway called Ultraviolet, and now we're starting to see how no, they play the role. No, we don't know. What is that? Ultraviolet, well, it's a good Who question. Who mentions that? Like, oh, yeah, you know about Project Ultraviolet. Does anybody <laughs> know great. what Project <laughs> well, Ultraviolet is? Operation it's Geronimo. You have, like, it's, tried and spear. What is this? It's a, yeah, no, it's another 007 yeah. James Bond kind of what term. What are they doing exactly? <laughs> so Ultraviolet was meant to be their way to, uh, you know, encrypt and somehow preserve the uh, their video as it, as it kind of rolls out onto the web. Now, there have been all oh, kinds of... Oh, it's DRM. Of, it is a kind of DRM, but it's mm -hmm. meant to be a system that, that allows the studios to go direct-to-consumer. Oh. Yeah, right now, movie studios aren't direct-to-consumer, really. Uh, no. They go through distribution channels Correct. like movie theaters or HBO or other Ooh, channels. Oh, Netflix. Exactly. And so as everything's migrating over to the web, there's this interesting battleground happening between the traditional distributors like cable operators who've announced their big initiative mm. at TV Everywhere. They're trying to get the TV shows and the, and the movies from HBO put them up on uh, various devices so that they can kind of extend yeah. cable out virtually, right? Well, as it turns out, movie studios sat back and said, you know, in fact, those aren't rights you actually have. Right. And so everyone's been waiting to say, so what do you got? Are you guys going to go direct? Well, here we're starting to see this is a potentially mm -hmm. the front end of their service could very well be Flickster. Ah. Now, that's really important, right? Because if you think about what, you know, Netflix has just been rocking, right? Sure. Netflix is really clear. They're not a streaming company. They're a discovery company. And they've right. got by far the best way to browse and best discover reviews. movies, right? Yeah. Until they crippled the iPad app, which I don't know what mm. they were thinking. It's like they must be crippling it because of some rights or rules around I having the read, web experience on the... on the, they, the web experience still involves renting discs, and right. they want to totally get you away but from they, that. But you can't industry. read the reviews yeah. and Just, see the permalink pages yeah. of the movies they anymore. They only want you to be able to look for a title and hit play. That sucks. That I was. Suck. I, I, agree. I used it for browsing. It's, it's, it's a much it's less It's a great place uh, to browse and bookmark and then watch it on TV later, right? Ugh. So at any rate, Netflix yeah. up till now has done a great job. I thought Amazon, when they rolled out their Prime Video service, yeah. I didn't think it was quite as smooth or as polished as Netflix. Now, I gather it's getting a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, so really, Netflix, it's Netflix game to lose for, video, for paid video services sure. on the web right now. But this could change everything. If Kevin Sujahara, who's running the home video group at Warner, he's a very, very smart guy. He's been thinking about this for a decade, how to roll out their video onto this, onto this online platform. And now he's got the ultimate front end. So Flickster could become their discovery, sort of social yeah. discovery social service. network. Here's what I've seen. I've seen it in movie That's theaters. 90% yeah. of my friends have seen this movie except for me. You've been watching This Week in Startups. To watch the full episode, click here. To check out some other shows from This Week in, Click here.